what is cryptocurrency? We know it's an internet currency. Then what is there is Bitcoin, there is an Ethereum. Yeah. There are you breaking Break it down? down. Yes. Okay, okay. You might have heard about blockchain. Yes. Yeah. And you know when you mention when you say blockchain and uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, a lot of people get to miss understand or misconstrue what they're all, all about mm -hmm. you know sometimes you say blockchain somebody hears bitcoin so um blockchain is a technology that runs on the internet okay it's an application that runs on the internet that powers cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. an example of cryptocurrency is bitcoin ethereum and other cryptocurrencies now these um, currencies or these tokens are built to most of them are built to mimic our existing fiat currency so when i say fiat currency i'm talking about naira okay, us dollars sure. and the rest now some are also are built you know to be on their own unique but it can be used as a means of exchange because of course what is money money is um, a means of exchange a, a store of value something that i can give you and you can give me something in return okay. knowing that i gave you value right so bitcoin um i used to call it digital gold because number one it, it has um, a lot of um, characteristics that is similar to that of gold it is limited in supply only 21 million will ever be in existence ever 21 million and if i should start sharing one one bitcoin to everybody in nigeria before we finish lagos it will finish yes, of course. right so it means that if this is only 21 million limited in supply um, um has a value to the point that i can send it to you you can send it to me um it is powered by the internet and it's global it means that by the time everybody starts seeing the value in it and start jumping on it the value would increase mm. so so what brings about the up and down in price of bitcoin is demand mm. and supply so the more people get to know about it the more it's becoming scarce, the more it keeps increasing in, 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 in value, right? So Ethereum is another cryptocurrency that is built on the blockchain, which is powered by the internet. Ethereum is, is more like, um, uh, I'll call it a global uh, computing system that, that is you know, specifically built as a smart contract solution. So when I say smart contract, um, a, a lawyer, comes into cases to mediate in those cases right um, and that's because there is no common agreement between party a and party b yes because i have my own mind you have your own mind i may want to sell a commodity to you and i give you a fake one and probably collect money from you but how about there is a system that can ensure that if we have an agreement i must stand by that agreement i can give you a fake one and you can underpay me because it, it's called the system is checkmating the both of us that is it's called smart contract and mm -hmm. ethereum is built to power a lot of smart contracts right so okay. with ethereum smart contract if we sign a contract on ethereum you can cheat me and i can't cheat you we okay. must agree for it to work if we don't agree it doesn't work so so that is the, what the protocol that that one you know powers and um, a lot of other ones there is usdt which is a stable coin that mimics us dollar so anytime you see one usdt is equal to one dollar and anytime you are holding usdt yeah of course uh, you know settlement banks where you can take it to and collect us dollar in exchange yeah, yeah even ngn token that you can that mimics naira and and this is how they fact they are over 1800 and something um cryptocurrencies on coin market cap and all these cryptocurrencies have their use cases some of them um, um, are, are built to or are created to act as shares of companies okay so if those companies are doing well then those cryptocurrencies would also be tracking the index of the the company's uh, stocks yes. and there are some that are built to act as utilities you know for a specific reason for instance if ShopRite decides to own their own utility token. I can't use that utility token elsewhere apart from every ShopRite globally. So if I go to SPA, they can't accept it. So it's a utility that is specific to ShopRite. And within the ShopRite, they may have some specific things you can only use that token to unlock. Like, you know, GTB have their own token. That's more device that you can yes. use to make, you know. Yes. Uh -huh. So, so 
specifically, I can't use this token on any other bank. It's specific to GTB. So if ShopRite decides to, or if a bank can even create a token on Ethereum blockchain, you know, create their own token, and people will no longer be using this this physical token. one. Yes. Anytime you want to make perform a transaction, the smart contract will automatically generate a new different token for mm -hmm. that transaction. So they can even do it and link it up to things like this. But the good thing is that it will be recorded on the blockchain, which is immutable and nobody can edit it. Nobody can, can you know, it can be lost. So there are several use cases around blockchain that makes it unique and um, uh, in high demand currently. If you check, um, uh, you know, you know, uh, things, jobs that are in high demand in this century, blockchain is number two, right? Yes, Big yes. data, you know, uh, all those things, they are all part of it. With the level Bitcoin is now, yeah. would you say Bitcoin is still a good investment? Yes, I will say so, right? A lot of people in the, in the monetary benefit yes. aspect, um, a lot of uh, experts have predicted BTC to touch 100,000 in a few years. And I think it will get to 100,000 in less than two years, in my own prediction, right? And some people have predicted that in the future, one Bitcoin could hit a million dollars. And I mean, I'm a, I'm a computer scientist and I did the economics in school as well. Mm -hmm. I understand demand curve. I understand that, that whenever there is high demand on a limited supply product, the value escalates like yes. mad. BTC went all the way from $3,000 last year to $38,000 today. It's actually been growing over $1,000, $2,000 every single day. Yesterday it did $3,000. Today it has done extra $2,000. It means if you laid your hands on five bitcoins or 10 bitcoins five years ago with less than five, you know, $5,000, today you'll be counting more than $300,000. Hmm. Yeah. Do you understand? And it's just, if, if I should put it by percentage, the total number of people who have, you know, laid their hands on Bitcoin or, or even know about Bitcoin, is not up to 2% of the global population. Imagine when up to 10% of the global population starts clamoring for Bitcoin and there is very limited. If I have five, if I have 0 0.1, I will hardly want to share it with anybody because I know that tomorrow it will be increased. But people will soon start keeping Bitcoin just the same way people buy gold and keep it and forget yeah. about it. That's what's going to be happening. Grayscale, uh, MicroStrategy, uh, PayPal, a lot of them recently, since five months ago, they have been buying up a lot of Bitcoins. Elon Musk has also been advised to, you know, get, I know he's already in on Bitcoin and he's been, there's one company that said they are balance sheets, you know, balance mm. sheets are usually, they keep it in US dollars, mm. right? And then they, they usually keep some amount of US dollars in the bank. Mm -hmm. You know, people have been suggested to convert their balance sheet to BTC. Imagine when big corporations that are counting in trillions of dollars and convert their balance sheet to BTC okay. and they will have to buy enough Bitcoin to back it up. It means there is nowhere in the market. So yeah. whatever price you, you keep your own, they'll buy it because they need it. Mm -hmm. See? So me answering if it is still an, uh, a, a very you know, um, a profitable means of investment, I'll tell you in the long run, yes. Mm -hmm.